if you've ever wondered what a baobab tree looks like when it's fallen down and dead, this is it. How's it guys? I'm Gus, the African plant hunter. I am here in the Mkhadi Khadi Pans of Botswana and I'm looking at the sad remains of Chapman's baobab. This baobab was first documented by David Livingston uh, in the 1860s. It takes its name from a South African uh, hunter explorer, James Chapman, who carved his name on it in the 1870s. It was known locally as the Seven Sisters because there were seven different stems that made up this gigantic baobab tree with a uh, circumference of over 25 meters. The tree fell down dead uh, three years ago in 2016, nobody knew why. It was completely unexpected and unpredicted, and it just fell down. Um, there's been a lot of speculation on the cause of that, uh, associated with perhaps with uh, climate change. Um, who knows? It was a very, very, very old tree, um, and it may just have reached the natural end of its life. So I've come here to have a look at it because I've heard rumors that there is still life in this tree. And and it is very interesting because normally when a baobab falls and dies, they decompose incredibly quickly. Now this is three years since this tree died and it's still fully here. I mean, you can see that it's dead obviously, but for some reason it hasn't instantly decomposed. And when you look, you can see that the roots are still going down. And although these roots here look very dead, so when you look at this, it actually looks like there's some life in it. So uh, this is underneath one of the stems. Basically, when you stand in the center of it, uh, it feels like there are three main stems that have gone uh, three different directions. Um, so this is one of them which clearly is dead. Um, there's no question about it. Everything on it is, is uh, rotting. Um, and there are roots going in to the ground still but if you have a look at them you can see that um, yeah without any shadow of doubt these are very much dead however on this side and if you come a little closer you can see the roots coming going into the ground and actually on this tree they don't look quite so dead um, in fact that root there looks very much alive so then I'm asking myself well is there life in here and then when I look at these twigs here coming out, those are clearly alive. There is respiration going on there. It's, it's the dry season. I wouldn't expect to see any leaves at this time of year anyway. But uh, when I go around the other side, there is actually one little leaf. Let's go have a look. So uh, one of the nice stories about this tree was that for many years it was used as like a post restaurant uh, for, for travelers passing by. They would leave letters in here if they were going north um, and uh, hopefully travelers that were coming south would pick up the letters and take them to Cape Town or wherever and they could get posted from there. Apparently also there were lots of bullet holes in this tree and I can see holes. I don't know if these are from bullets, but I can see them all over. Yeah, but look at this. This is the exciting exciting thing. Check this out. Coming right here, this is a leaf coming from the tree. No question about it. Photosynthesis is taking place. This bit of the tree is very much alive. Uh, so that is really, really exciting news. In the next uh, 10, 20 years, maybe this tree will just stay like this or maybe something will come from it. Uh, but given how old it already is, I think it's very remarkable that it's uh, continuing to uh, survive having apparently lost its battle with gravity. Anyway guys, this is uh, all from Chapman's Baobab in the Makarikari Pans of Botswana. I'm Gus, the African plant hunter, if we haven't met before. This is what I like to do, is share little stories about African trees and plants uh, with the rest of the world. You can see plenty more on my Facebook, Instagram, YouTube channel, AfricanPlantHunter.com. I do hope to catch you again. Till later, take it easy. All right, bye. Thank you.